Hey, welcome back to Tactics Talk with Guido. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support of the channel. Recently, I made a video talking about players that sometimes they deserve what they get. They come up behind you, bump you, they're not paying attention, they're doing something wrong, or maybe sometimes it's it's intentional. So I'm going to do a follow-up to that right here because I have an in interesting situation sent in by a viewer by the name of Nonamandus, and he's in his T26E4 Super Pershing. And he had just recently watched that episode, that video, and he said, well, here's an interesting one for you. And I said, well, I'll take a look. So you have a platoon from Claws, San Lorenzo, and his buddy, Solo Kochi, and a FCM 50T and a T34-3. So let's see what Nonamandus does here. And I'm actually going to take control of the camera because it's not as important how he's fighting. Although you will see that he does actually a pretty good job of staying out of their way. He comes around, he's helping these guys push. Gets right into that guy's track, tracks him, so he's got this guy pinned. He shoots at Nonamandus with all that good super pershing armor. So that's a shot taken away from the others. They learn that lesson pretty quick. And he puts a shot on the softer 50T and down goes the Type 59. You'll see that the 34-3 is the next meat on the list here on the menu. Gets up in here, looks to shoot into the lower hole there. They get a shot on him and down he goes. And nowhere in there did he really get in their way. He took a few shots on the enemy but definitely helped those guys out. And now they are pushing here on the northwest side of the map. Kharkov, which I could not remember. And here he goes trundling up. We've got a Sturve. S1 right there, so he's going to come up here, use a little depression, shoot that guy, get out of the way, 34-3 comes up, finishes him off, and they seem to be working pretty good. Takes a shot from the Scorpion, loses his gunner, has to fix his gunner, can't quite get the shot on the Scorpion, and all's well. And now they're folding in, looks like the team is in the cleanup phase, shooting guy red tanks that are sitting around, and Nonamandis comes up and says, hey, I got a IS-3 right here, and his rear is to me. And what you're going to see here is kind of an interesting thing that happens. You'll note that Nonamandus here is moving up, and you see that this 34-3 San Lorenzo has taken up a side-scraping spot right behind this building. Nonamandus isn't necessarily paying attention to him. And I would say he's certainly not trying to get in the guy's way. Comes in, takes another shot, and you can see that now he is right there, which looks to be in line with the T-34-3 attempting to side scrape all the way back here behind the building so that I guess that T-30 or that IS-3 doesn't turn around and shoot him. By the way, the IS-3 is looking the other way. He's looking at that other Super Pershing. They're shooting into the rear of the tank. And you will notice that Nonamandus takes a shot from his buddy. Okay, you might say, well, maybe that was an accident. Nonamandus moved up and the guy didn't see him, but I doubt that very seriously based on how long it had been since Nonamandus pulled up and he got shot. But let's give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes mistakes happen, right? So off we go. Nonamandus shoots again, and uh-oh, I think we have someone triggered. So San Lorenzo shoots him again. Takes out his engine. And to Nonamandus' credit, he kind of looks at him like, dude, come on, what are you doing? And shoots in there, but someone else kills him. All right, Nonamandus says, fine, there's only a few more hit points left. Let's keep trucking. I'll fix my engine. Now I can actually move because the Super Pershing without an engine is definitely slow. It was slow to begin with. And they're looking for hit points. There goes the Super. I'm going to come up to this opening. And uh-oh, old San Lorenzo isn't going to let it go, I don't think. Nope, he's boom. And you'll notice that San Lorenzo comes to a screeching halt. Even though there's a Scorpion G, he obviously got banned for some amount of time for putting three shots into a fellow green guy. So I just thought that was an interesting follow-up right there. Lots of discussion on that, good discussion on that last video that I made. And this was an obvious case of, even if you want to say, well, not a man just got in his way once right there, and he had low SA, and it's kind of his fault for pulling out in front, which I do not say, by the way, in this case. That's not really a case of that. Lorenzo over there just got triggered that Nonamandus had pulled up there. Well, one shot, okay, you shouldn't do that. But, hey, two shots, all right, yeah, point taken, you're triggered. And then the kill shot only to get banned. 
you know, this is like a 54% player kind of guy and just just terrible right there. So what are your thoughts? Put them down there in the comments section. That's an interesting one, kind of a uh, an example like I had put in earlier where I had got triggered at the guy and maybe pushed him a little bit but didn't take it this far. I think there's obviously a point at which you've gone well too far. Clearly there's an argument that you don't do anything and you just move on. So that's probably the baseline. But if you did get triggered, I don't know, maybe one shot or a push, got it, you're a little mad, move on. But holy cow, three shots in a row just because some guy was out there in front of you just a little bit and you are side scraping 15 miles from the fight. That was sad. All right, guys. I hope like you saw, I hope you learned something right there. Like I said, interested in your comments down below and we will see ya.